um, today, uh, based on the outline, the course outline, we are supposed to do um, reading two actually, but um, because as uh, sorry, as I um, told you that um, today I'm going to do more and because this lesson I believe it will help you um, to write a better paragraph and a better sentence for you. So I would like to spend some time um, doing this instead of doing uh, the reading. Okay, so unit three, understanding sentence basic. Okay, let's start, um, look at the contents. Um, we have learning objective, yeah, understanding sentence basic. Actually, it's uh, understanding parts of uh, the sentence. And then we gonna learn the types of sentences. Uh, in it include uh, simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence, and compound complex. So the most important part of this um, lesson cover the types of sentences. Okay, so here are the learning objectives. First, to learn about the sentence basics. It means the parts of the sentence. Yeah, how many parts of a sentence, okay, that we sh you should learn in order to write a correct sentence, yeah. And another one, learn how to write four type of sentences correctly, okay. So first of all, this is, I think, yeah, parts of sentences. We gonna learn about the subject, verb, object, and other information. So I believe you all know, yeah, you all know this, you know, you all know um, this part, yeah, of, of sentence, but I just like, uh, just want to, just like a, a review, doing a review for you in, in case you were not sure with some parts. Okay, so first of all, start with what is a pair. For what is a sentence? Yeah, what is a sentence? So a sentence is a group of words that express a complete thoughts. A group of words. So just like example, Joe likes basketball. The weather is cold today. So Joe is word. Yeah, is a noun. Yeah, a noun is a word. And likes also a word. And basketball also a word. So it's a group of words. It's combined together. And it has the complete meaning or complete thoughts. Yeah. And another example, the weather is cold today. Yeah. The weather is a word, is also a word. Cold, also a word, it's adjective, but it's also a word. Today is also a word. And these words combined together, it's a it's become a sentence, okay? Chân nhi kì chìa nì yom nây tu tư xâm rạp sentence ná Nhưng khoan đa chìa kàm lỡ cái cà bất khí yên skoa lên ná Tích tích nhé It's a group of words Combined together, yeah And it has complete meaning of us It makes sense Nâng chìa kàm ao yên nâu definition xin khí nha Hỏi mùi tiết dân đăng thà words can go together to make sentences and then sentences go together to make a paragraph yeah that we already know uh, that paragraph can be combined uh, together into an essay yeah chẳng nâng cứ chỉ flow này cả bà châu khu nế tăng bị chập đàm bị vượt hồn mà đó essay nơi chông cơ rõi nha ok So here uh, we learn the parts of sentence. Yeah, parts of a sentence. So in every sentence has two main parts. Nah, some kind of part. Nah, two two main part. Nah, cứ nói trong sentence mui mui, nó bây giờ dừng chập đam sờ sờ, cứ dừng trực tiếp từ đó. 
pi này tầm quan tầm quan đó cứ subject muối hơi nướng verb muối nè subject muối hơi nướng verb muối tới tầm miền chấp đam sinh thân cứ thấy nước hơi đó pi nướng sẩn nè một nướng miền ấy bắt đầu tiệt đặt and yeah avoid đặt bắt đầu tiệt nướng cứ mean there is a an objects and or other information after verb chẳng bắt đầu bị subject bắt đầu bị subject nâng verb bắt đầu bị verb nâng tới cứ mean bắt đầu tiếp ai mean object nâng mean other information chẳng chẳng ai mơ nữa ở tiêu hoa cẳng cào chẳng ai mơ tới khởi nhỉ nè ở tiêu hoa thì mỗi mai ra things chẳng Uh, this sentence is very, very, very basic. Né? Very basic maintain. Because we mean it has um, subject plus verb. Subject and verb. I mean, yeah, subject and verb. Subject, myra, and things, verb. Yeah, things, verb. Chẳng mean that pi nâng mối cứ mean này cực rồi. It's a sentence. It's a complete sentence. Né? Another example. Yeah. Uh, she plays the piano. So after verb, we have an object, the piano. Okay. And another example, uh, Maria practices at home. So we can see here in this sentence, we have subject, we have verb, but we don't have object. We have the other information, uh, which is talk which talk about the place the place okay where she practice so this is another one and the last sentence it's combined all the four main or four common elements of four common parts of a sentence together she sings songs in the morning so she's she is a subject Sings is a verb. Songs is an object, and in the morning is the other information. So you can see this is these are the parts of a sentence. And if we go deep into each one, you're gonna learn more, a lot more. But this just. I just um, do a kind of, uh, you know, I just try to pick it up yeah, to remind you in case that you forget something in in a sentence, in a part of sentence. Subject. So when we talk about subject alone, you're gonna learn a lot. You're gonna learn about nouns, yeah. subject nouns. You're gonna learn about nouns. You're gonna learn about pronouns, okay? And verb, you have to learn different type of verbs. Yeah, it, verb tenses. Yeah, verb tenses. Um, verb transitive verb, intransitive verb, yeah. and Objects, you're going to learn direct object, indirect object. Yeah. Okay. And other information, it's kind of a preposition. Yeah. Prepositional clause. Yeah. And then we maintain It's level three from... Uh, Great writing. Yeah. Level three. Okay. Um, so let's move on to the next things. Okay, we're gonna learn. Yeah, uh, briefly about the subjects. Okay. So the subject is a person or things that does the action. So uh, the one or the yeah the one who does the action we call the subjects can be noun and it can be pronounced okay or can be two or more nouns or pronouns okay but they have but send you a noun or a pronoun it's singular subjects okay and if 
it is if the subjects are two noun or two pronouns or more then the subject is plural né? however the nouns and pronouns or pronouns must share the same verbs okay and the subject verb agreement but uh, a singular subject singular verb yeah. plural subject plural verb okay it depends on a different type of um different type of tense yeah as well yeah it's short like this it's about subjects okay so you can use noun and pronoun yeah you just pronoun instead of noun in the second sentence and so on. Yeah, the example, Maria and his and her sister go to piano class every week. So you can see here is the example of yeah, uh, the now the nouns here yeah Maria and and her sister. It's a plural no noun which share the same verb go. Okay, go. Okay. So next one it's about verbs. Okay, verbs. The verb tells the subjects is doing. Okay. Tell what the subject is doing. So we refer to the action. Né? We refer to the action. We refer to the form of the verb in different uh, tenses or in different uh, types of uh, sentence. Yeah. So the verb is usually an action words such as go, speak, write, swim, and watch. So it can be action. It can be what? Uh, have. It doesn't does not have much action and okay these are the two types of words okay you can see so for the verbs that does not have much action we can have uh, verbs such as uh, be yeah with m is r or was were yeah and then like or want or need Okay, this this verb are so this verb has have um have less much action. Okay, less much action. It means that you cannot see it directly. Okay, uh, the verb want. Yeah, for example, want. want bring pratachang so you cannot see the action directly by your eyes okay it is not um, visible so you see it based on the what you observe the expression the facial expression you observe the meaning in context yeah unlike the word go the word speak the word swim the word forge yeah the word hit all this action you can see easily yeah. through your eye. Then you have action words, action verbs. Okay. Mui tiết ku, less action. Yeah. And another verb can have two or more action for one subject. Two or more action for one subject. It means you can look at the example below. They create and play beautiful music. So these two verb, yeah, these two verb, or this, uh, the subject pronoun they do two action mean that uh, these subjects does the two action they can uh, they create and also play. But it has a camp. You've got no comment. P. 
ปន្តែសកម្មភាពទាំងពីរនឹងបំរើឲ្យតែសັບជិះតែមួយសັບជិះតែដៃមួយណាពួកគេដែលយើងនិយាយជារួមអូខេគេនេះគឺជាអ្
subject, verb, object, and other information. Okay. So, yeah, that's okay for you. If you don't have any question, I'm going to move to the types of sentences. Types of sentences in English. Do you know what is simple? Do you know what is the formula? Or can you write simple sentence? Compound sentence, complex sentence, and compound complex. Let's uh, see, yeah, there are four types of sentences, I'm sorry, yeah, simple, compound sentence, complex sentence, and compound complex. Okay, simple sentence. So simple sentence can have one of several possible formula. Four possible formulas of simple sentence here is here are the formula of, of a simple sentence so it starts with subject verb subject verb that we just learned the basic the very basic uh, subject and verb and then subject subject verb or subject verb verb and subject subject and verb verb so you can look at the example of each formula like here uh, the star war movie were international hits so the star war movie is the subjects of the sentence and it has one verb okay were okay were okay the second formula young people and adults enjoy them okay can see so uh, young people is a subject and adults also subject so we have ss and then verb enjoy v enjoy uh, number three svv yeah we have the film as the subjects and we have two verbs entertain and thrilled okay number four we have two subjects and two verbs. Yeah. Luke Skywalker and his friend Beryl Evil and made us laugh at the same time. Okay, so these are the formula. So when you mostly when we when we look at the, the, the sentence here, we don't look at the, the objects or uh, the other information. Okay, formula we change so by the young real tense, yeah, the long tense, go to wrong, you do that. So we have nhóm nhóm ở đây phần đầu từ subject plus verb plus object. I mean subject plus verb that you can learn uh, the correct form, and then objects and other information. It's something. Uh, it's also useful, but it's not very useful. Yeah, to to learn because you gonna learn it by yourself. Okay. Chẳng nên cứ chỉ formula nữa. Chẳng vì ai, nhà nên cứ chỉ possible formula thế. Um, and it helps. I hope that it's this from this formula you can understand easily when you write sentence. Chẳng nên cứ chỉ simple sentence. Simple sentence cứ chỉ sentence để thoa mặt đá cứ chấp đam bị subject. Nâng verb nâng ai ná Dương mê mô dương mơ tùm rung nâng Tụ bây thà về miền subject P verb môi rồi có subject môi verb P Rồi có subject P verb P Có nơi ta chứa simple sentence này Ná Ok, let's move on to compound sentence Ok, a compound sentence has two or more subject verb combination Two or more subject verb combination. It is composed of at least two simple sentences joined by a comma and a coordinating conjunction. Okay, possible formula, subject verb, and then comma and coordinating conjunction and 
subject and verb chúng compound sentence chúng thời trăm thà vi chỉ một chỉ simple vi main simple sentence p bằng chỗ khía đòi coordinating conjunction nè comma hay nâng coordinating conjunction chúng ở số mấy áp dương riêng bị môn máu nơi khăn ông sư phơi bức xế nhờ mọt đoàn ấy nè cái lô thật cử gọi sư xế ở thời ca ở compound sentence cứ dương ở trăm bạch phở khăn má bên tên nơi cơ lấy nế cứ chứ môi nhóm cứ nhóm cái cứ nhóm cái từ tam sư phơi nè sư phơi được nhóm đọ sẵn mà nè cứ great writing hay nâng academic introduction to academic writing ok chân cứ Compound sentence cứ trở tầm mình khám mạp môn nâng coordinating conjunction Hỏi mình xin thu xin phô sentence P nơi xong khẳng mình Example, we went shopping yesterday but we didn't buy anything Nhưng chứng We went shopping yesterday is a simple sentence that has a set The formula, subject, and verb. And we don't buy anything. Also, a simple sentence that has um, formula, subject, and verb as well. Okay. So when you see this didn't, it just consider it as a verb. Didn't buy verb the more than it. Mình thu vượt thì tu bây nít chìa mô đồ vượt cái đó bằng tái nó không phô mưu lá cư dân hai viết tái vượt mùi thì Compound sentence, ok? Use comma before in conjunction in compound sentences only Nó không compound sentence thì comma để nơi bị mốc coordinative conjunction Do not use a comma to join two words or two phrases in a simple sentence. Chẳng những mơ simple sentence hay những compound sentence càng gram chẳng ai dù. We went shopping yesterday, comma, but we didn't buy anything. Another one. The stores were crowded, comma, and they were noisy. Okay. And sentence number three, we went shopping yesterday but didn't buy anything. And we, uh, sorry, the store were crowded and noisy. So you can notice uh, that the sentence number one and number two are compound sentence. And number three and number four are simple sentence. Can you notice anything more? Why is it? Yeah, the the sentence is very very similar. Sang ta doi khnie. Ban tai yeng ai yeng ai cot sum qua lai ta ta vi co khnie. Na hai hai ai ban chang. Sum qua ban ne. Yeah sure. Ai ban ne? Ai ai ye jeng ne? Yeah yeah. Cũng chả, chẳng chẳng phê giờ sẽ dừng cũng ai cho làm gì nữa, dừng riêng bị thay bởi sinh thần nữa, giờ sẽ cũng ai cho làm Ok Cảm ra khẩm á, cảm ra coordinating conjunction nữa Compound sinh thần này cứ coordinating conjunction, dạ, cứ mình, dạ, dừng hai fan boys in short For and no but or yet so and it has different function so use it uh, properly okay a complex sentence okay, a complex sentence is a combination of a of one independent class and one or more dependent classes Example, Anna left the party early because she was tired. Chẳng vì mình P, clause. Nếu bây giờ dừng dây ông P, complex sentence, you got an, you have to understand 
independent clause ให้หนึ่ง dependent clause so independent clause it's easy it is simple sentence nah? or it is a compound sentence okay หนึ่งคือจะ independent clause นะบางในทางวิอย่างหอยนะก็วิอาจมี subject หนึ่ง verb นะนะจะ compound เออจะจะ simple sentence and independent clause sorry dependent clause คือจะ clause มวยเดียวเป็นหนึ่งบางในทางวิอาจเป็นหนึ่งวิมันจะ sentence เดียววิธีการเอ่อ Independent sentence to have to become a complete sentence. Okay, so Anna left the party early is independent clause, or we can see it's simple sentence. And because she was tired, is dependent clause. Okay. จังยังจะน้ำบางส่วนจะยังจับพดานประโยคโดยมีนจบใน subordinating กันอย่างเช่นอย่างโดยเฉพาะ because หรือก็มีน absentee นะในการของนี้ยังหนึ่งประธาน subordinating กันอย่างเช่น subordinating กันอย่างเช่นหรือก็ยังให้ท่า subordinator คือมีนใบหนึ่งนะจีเอ่อ it's it's common subordinator จะมีน time อย่าง time After, as, as soon as before, seen until when, whenever, while, these are called time subordinator. Okay, time subordinator. We go you have time clause, adverb clause. Yeah, we go adverb clause, adverb clause, adverb of times. Okay. My third good reason. Reason you mean because, seen, and as. And place subordinate where, wherever. Okay. Chúng ta phải để dùng, sẽ say complex sentence, cứ dùng tay để miễn subordinate nó cho bất chỉ mỗi nương sentence mỗi. Để vì thưa vì ở tới chỉ dependent clause, nè, dependent clause. Chúng dependent clause để xa để vì cho bất nương subordinate nương ai. But we apply the year dependent clause. Okay. And okay, compound complex is the last type of sentences. A compound complex sentence is a combination of a compound sentence with a complex sentence. Okay, compound sentence with a complex sentence. So you know compound sentence, you know complex sentence. Chúng ta phải để nhớ thưa compound complex cứ việc bị chốt pi nương bị chốt kia. It's contain at least two independent clauses, two independent clauses like a compound sentence, and at least one dependent clauses like a complex sentence. Okay. At least, but they have to add mean love in them. Add mean love in them. Then, two independent clauses, then, could be applied to a compound sentence. Like, okay. You can look at the example below in order to understand more. The man was meant because he was lonely but his attitude only made his situation worse so you look at um first look at independent class two independent class okay like a compound sentence and One dependent class like a complex. Okay, chương chương chấp đã mơ mơ thà mùi ná chia in dependent class.
can you tell me from where to where is dependent class and where to where is independent dependent class uh, the man was mean because he was lonely is independent class and after that is dependent class okay independent class we um hi mùi tiết it look like a compound look like compound sentence nè cái này nè look like compound sentence nè cái này nè ok chứng look like compound sentence thì thoáng cái này như cắt khám mát bột chìm mùi nâng coordinating conjunction này cứ it look like compound it look like complex sentence the sad yeah sentence mùi nít cực chìm complex như này nè complex bột mùi nâng compound ok bắn nâng cực chìm compound complex ok another one the dog ran off when I chased him but I didn't care so the first class here the dog ran off when I chased him she complex and then we put comma and also coordinating conjunction but it's look like compound so it's compound complex we did when I went to the store comma my parents wanted me to pick up some milk but I didn't have enough money chẳng hạn nếu complex thì nó chấp đảm when I went to the store my parents wanted me to pick up some milk nó complex tại vì sao dừng lược ấy kì dừng lược independent class sorry dependent class đã bị mốc trên những thứ cả không mà and then plus another um independent class that but it's look like what compound the saying but but and comma here okay so this is a complex sentence and that's all for types of sentence any question do you have any question <laughs> 